Since Einstein's ideas are at the heart of modern cosmology, also known as coarse reading cosmology, the idea of the great blast has changed the way we think about the world. The big explosion, which created all matter, energy, and presence, happened at the same time as the beginning of the world. The event we see today took place about 13.8 billion years ago and made the colossal universe what it is today. Recent discoveries in cosmology, on the other hand, show that the colossal blast was probably not the start. Instead, from our point of view, there may have been a time before the huge explosion that was just as important in shaping the universe. This time before the period is known as, incalculable expansion. Development is likely one of the most interesting things about current cosmology. It means that the universe went through a very fast emotional growth phase before the hot, dense time of the big explosion. At this point in time, the universe was growing at a very fast rate. As an example of how ridiculous this expansion was, if the cosmos started out smaller than an atom, it would have grown to be unimaginably bigger than the whole universe in a very small amount of time, about one quadrillionth of a second. Even though it only lasted a short time, this extension stage was very important in the creation of the world. After the inflationary period finished, the energy that caused this expansion was released into space. This warmed it up and made the matter particles that make up everything we see in the universe. In a lot of ways, development comes before what we call the Great Explosion. Many people in the field of cosmology now agree with the extension theory, but there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered. One example is that we still don't know what started development, what stopped it, or how long it went. It's important to remember these unanswered cosmological questions if you want to learn more about how the world came to be. Before it developed, the universe was a strange thing, a surprisingly densely packed small area of matter. This strange thing was the start of development that led to the arrangement of atoms, particles, stars, and worlds. It's interesting to think that the colossal blast was the start of everything, but current cosmology points to a more complicated picture. Some ideas say that the universe went through a phase before it exploded in a huge way. As a result of extension, the universe grew at an amazing rate during this time, almost 10 times its original size in a single second. This fast expansion was driven by a strange structure of energy that cut through empty space. When expansion was over, the energy that had pushed evolution forward was turned into particles. This heated the universe and created the hot, dense state called the giant explosion. Even though it was cold and empty, this inflationary phase made it possible for matter and the modern world to form. One of the most abstract ideas in current cosmology is the idea of timeless expansion. This idea says that expansion didn't stop all at once. Instead, it stopped in different places, creating different pockets that could each be its own universe. Our universe would be one of these patches. It's possible that there are an infinite number of these universes, and each one has its own set of real rules and constants. The idea that our world might be just one of many, if not all possible universes, is where the multiverse's possibility comes into its own. This idea would explain why the universe is such a good place for life if it turns out to be correct. In this multiverse scenario, there may be more than one world with every possible set of real laws. We wake up in one where the conditions are perfect for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and other elements needed for life to exist. Although theories like the multiverse and endless expansion are still just that, theories, they do support the idea that space can expand. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, which is the universe's oldest light, is the best proof that it is expanding. To send the CMB, the universe had to cool down for about 380,000 years after the big blast. This is when atoms could start to form. At that point, the world was very simple. Since then, this light has been traveling through space. By focused on the CMB, cosmologists can get a picture of the universe as it was when it was first formed. Researchers can better understand what happened right after the huge explosion and provide evidence for the inflationary model thanks to light, which gives them bits and pieces of knowledge about the early history of the universe. 
This was one of the most important things found by the European Space Agency's Planck probe, which took detailed pictures of the CMB. These pictures show small changes in the temperature of the early universe that are in line with what the inflationary theory says should happen. This experimental evidence shows that growth is a key part of how we understand how the universe came to be, not just a theory. Einstein's general theory of relativity and the quantum hypothesis, which are two of the most important theories in modern physics, need to be put together to find out what caused the huge explosion and what came before it. The theory of general relativity describes how planets, stars, and universes behave on the biggest scales. The theory of quantum mechanics describes how particles behave on the smallest scales. To answer the big questions in cosmology, like what the universe is made of and how it came to be, scientists should come up with a theory that combines these two models. This would help us figure out what caused the colossal blast as well as studying the blast itself. One of the most amazing things about the universe is how big it is. The universe we can see is about 94 billion light years across, and the farthest things we can see are 47 billion light years away. This might seem strange since the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. Since the universe is so old, how could the visible universe be bigger than the time it takes for light to move through it? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been growing over time. As the universe gets bigger, the space between things gets bigger too, so far away things are farther away than light could travel. The vast majority of scientists agree that the world goes far beyond what we can see. It's even possible that the universe is infinitely big. Our ability to see the universe is limited by how long light has had to journey since the Big Bang. This part of the universe is called the detectable universe. Some parts of the universe are so big that we might never be able to see them. The question, is there anything beyond the universe, still stands, even if the universe is infinite. Most experts aren't sure how they feel about this idea. If the universe is endless, there is no outside to it. In a sense, the world would keep existing forever. It probably doesn't make sense to talk about anything outside of the world, even if the world is limited. There's a chance that going past the universe won't mean anything in the real world, since, past, would mean something outside of space, which is a part of the universe itself. Just as the beginning of the world is a very interesting subject, so is its inevitable end. At this point, the best sign is that the universe will keep expanding forever. This is likely to happen because of a strange force called dull energy, which is speeding up the spread of the universe. That was before scientists found dim energy. They thought that the universe's gravity would finally slow down its expansion. There was even a chance that the universe would stop growing and start getting smaller, which would make a huge noise. But it looks like dark energy is breaking the world apart very quickly. If this speeding up keeps up, the universe will eventually hit a point where galaxies float so far apart that they can't be found together. In this case, the world would grow tired, sad, and cold. As time went on, stars would fade, worlds would move farther apart, and matter would break down. This is called the big freeze, or heat death, of the world right now. The story of the universe, from the Big Bang to its possible end, is one of the most important and complicated in science. The idea of expansion and the study of the very large microwave background have taught us a lot about how the universe came to be, but there are still a lot of problems. Why did the growth start and stop? What is there beyond the cosmos that we can see? If there is a multiverse, how many different worlds are there? As scientists continue to study the universe with new technologies and ideas that link general relativity and quantum mechanics, we will definitely learn more about these puzzles. We're still trying to figure out the universe, but each new discovery brings us one step closer to answering the big questions that make up our lives. The study of the universe's beginnings and structure is both a logical and a philosophical task. It raises questions about reality, present, and our place in it. In astronomy, one of the main things that scientists study is dull matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe's mass and energy. Normal matter emits, absorbs, and reflects light, but dull matter doesn't. 
This means that dull matter can only be seen and felt through the gravity pull it has on visible matter. To understand how universes form and behave, you have to know about dark matter. New studies and different points of view have helped us understand some of the features of dull matter, but we still don't fully understand what it is. Very large particles with weak interactions, WIMPs, axions, and other strange particles have only been mentioned as possible uses. Still, there has been no direct proof of dim matter particles found so far. The search goes on with a mix of astronomical observations, experiments on Earth, and computer models that show how dim matter has affected the expansion of the universe on very large scales. Another important subject to study is dim energy the force that is speeding up the expansion of the world. It is thought that dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe's total mass and energy. Since it was found by accident, many ideas have been made about it, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields like quintessence. Finding dim energy is very important because it will determine the very end of the world. Scientists are looking at how it changes cosmic systems and trying to figure out if it stays the same or changes over time. Even though matter and energy are dull, studying how big structures are put together gives us a lot of information about the universe's experiences. The strange patterns we see today come from the way matter bunches together because of gravity. This is shown by our understanding of the incomprehensible web, which is made up of a huge network of systems, bunches, and strands. Reproductions made by supercomputers help scientists figure out how these structures have changed over billions of years and how they are still changing. Astrobiology and astronomy also work together when scientists try to figure out what conditions life would need to exist beyond Earth. Exoplanets are planets that circle stars that are not in our solar system. The search for these planets has stepped up since thousands of them have been found in recent years. Some of these exoplanets are in the habitable zones of their stars, which might be the best place for liquid water to exist. Researchers are interested in these faraway worlds because they help them learn more about what makes a planet good for life and whether there is life elsewhere in the universe. Finally, it's hard to say enough about how important basic material science is to cosmology. The search for a bound unified theory that ties together general relativity and quantum mechanics is still hard for physicists. The goal of theories like loop quantum gravity and the string hypothesis is to connect these two areas and explain strange things like black holes and the beginning of the universe. As technology improves, so does our capacity to notice and make sense of very strange events. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are changing the way we think about the universe because they give us such detailed pictures of faraway galaxies and cosmic events. With each new idea, we get closer to figuring out the mysteries of the universe's structure, growth, and terrible end. The study of the universe is a complicated web of philosophical ideas and rational questions. From the basic forces that build huge structures to the search for life beyond Earth, our research shows how persistent and interested people are in the universe. As we work to find the answers to these important questions, we also learn more about how huge and complicated the universe is.